All right, guys. Today, if you have a leaky fill valve up in here where it drips, oh, you can just see it dripping right there. That is a pain. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that on the GE, because I guess it's more common on the GE. But what you're really gonna wanna do is get your part number right here, okay? Make sure you get the right fill valve. And we'll go ahead. And it might even be wise to open this up and get the number off of the actual fill valve and um, order it that way. But that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get right to it. All right guys, once you pull it out, don't forget to unplug it. That's the first thing we're gonna wanna do before we get to work. So make sure you unplug it. Let's turn off your water, however your water is. You don't wanna turn that off. Get both of them, turn them off. Got that, good to go. All right, next up, you just need a quarter inch driver. For the two nuts on here, we're gonna take that off as well. All right, now that we got that, we're gonna to wanna to take off these hoses, get you some dirty clothes, or some towels or something. In case there's a little bit of water in those hoses back there, okay? Take those off. Nice little wrench. Getting those hose all, hoses off of there. Okay, gonna lift up. And usually this, if you can see right there, you can see that it slides. It should come out of there, and it sure did. Same thing with this. Look at that. Slides back and then lifts up. There's our fill valve. It's going to be different on each machine, but it's relatively the same. So, on this GE model, they make one without this or one with it. I assume that it doesn't matter, but I really wanted the one with it. So, that's why I rebought the one that has it with it. Okay, so again, we're back to this quarter inch drive. Guys, make sure you unplug it. Unplug it before you start. Um, I didn't do that. Just unplug it. All right. All right, here we go. This one has a extra little thing here. Pop it loose and pop these loose. Sometimes these can be really hard to get off, so just stick with it. The good thing is um, they will only go back on the valve that they're designed to go on. So that's that is one cool thing. And then you just gotta kind of shimmy it around a little bit. And there you go. All done. So she's out of there. I don't know what's wrong with that, but it, it leaks. It's leaked like since it was first installed, huh? All right, this one, yeah, I actually left the cable on there. It was so, uh, so much of a pain to get off. A new one in. This one got a little sound dampener, so that's cool. Go ahead and use his stuff. Plug this in. Make sure everything's plugged in. Good to go there. Everything's plugged in. Remember this one, it pushes back. So you put it in and slide it back. And then once you put on, on that, this cover, even has the hot cold, so you know which one's which, so you can't mess that up. Put it 
it on there, slide it over. That is how fast it is. All right. Red is hot. Put that hose back up. Pair of nice wrenches here. You can get those at Hop Freak. I don't know where I got these from. Don't want to over tighten any of this. It's got rubber seals and it's plastic. So uh, don't get too aggressive on there. Uh, you do want to check it for leakage once you do tighten it up. But you know, when it comes to that place where it stops. You want to quit. All right. Don't forget to plug it back in before you shove it back up against the wall. And yeah, once you get everything hooked up and you plug it back in, don't forget to turn your water back on. A lot of times you'll forget and then you'll wonder why it's not working. <laughs> so don't forget to turn your water back on. You are done. You're ready to go. What was that fast, guys? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for uh, other how-tos and a lot of them deal with this kind of stuff where it's stuff that anybody can use and anybody can do. I'll show you how anybody can do something. So if you got a vehicle, older vehicle, or just little repairs, they can be done by you. Just think how much. I got the part for like 30 bucks and it took less than, what, 20 minutes to change this thing out. So, and you, I just showed you how anybody could do it. Literally anyone could do this. And how much would a repairman charge you for that? So... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos. If you like cool stuff like anthill casting, I'll be doing a lot more resale videos. So if you wanna learn a side income, I'm probably gonna show you how to do eBay, which you could do Poshmark, Macari, whatever, um, Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna show you how you can make money um, starting with no money, right? So all that kind of stuff, it all helps. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.